Hi everyone, sorry about the previous live. That's what happens when you have <laughs> lots and lots of duties to attend. But I have these 10 minutes for all of you out there preparing for your entrance examination. Um, again, a very, very happy holy to all of you. So, um, so yeah, so what is important is that you have a particular routine. Like for me, when I was preparing for my entrance, thi, toh, of course, I had to study the whole thing because there's a lot of syllabus. But in that beach, mein, I used to make sure that my diet, my sleep and my exercise, three things are not affected. Now, diet is important because when you're getting the right vitamins, the right amount of carbs, your brain needs sugar. Brain can only live on glucose. So, um, you know, at that time, point of time, you have to maintain a good diet because you need to feed your brain the right amount of food. The second thing is exercise. When you exercise, your body's output is better. So, um, instead of sitting in your room for 10 hours a day and not doing anything except for studying, it is better to divide your study time into smaller chunks. So, this is the first thing. The second thing is better to divide your study time into small slots and between those small slots, have small breaks. And in the breaks, you can do exercise, you can, you know, maybe listen to music, relax your mind. So, this is what will help you. Like I was talking about neurotransmitters, it's a very scientific reason and very simple explanation. It's a chemical that helps your brain to function, your nerve cells, brain cells, it helps you to function. And that chemical is over a little bit. So, if you are still studying, then after a few hours, what you are studying, there will not be any effect on it. Because your neurotransmitter is over, so you can give your body a small break, whether you are studying 40 minutes, then you are studying 10 minutes, then you are studying 40 minutes. So the break of 10-15 minutes, you will make your neurotransmitters again, so you will be able to study the next 40 minutes in the next 40 minutes. So it is important to have small, small breaks in between, rather than studying for a continuous long period of time. The other thing is, you don't have to take tension. Don't stress during examinations. Have a calm mind and and study. Uh, so, Sejal has a question which is how many hours per day must must we study? Now that absolutely depends on you. Uh, to be honest, there is no definite period of time of how much you should study. You should see what what works for you. You know, some people uh, require a lot to read a thing again and again some people are able to do it in a less amount of time so that you have to discover about yourself that i cannot tell you but how many hours you study you need to keep a certain amount of amounts of break uh the second thing like i said is to study smart now what do you mean by studying smart the first thing is of course to to also have breaks to exercise to be able to do a little bit of uh, you know you know a little bit of your hobbies like painting maybe uh, and stuff and you don't have to completely cut out from everything. Just uh, make sure that you have a certain amount amount of discipline when you do something. Uh, so this, uh, the third most so study smart is actually, um, of course, you have to work hard. You cannot achieve anything in life without hard work. But in that hard work, if you're able to study smart, if you're able to focus on the things that are important. Now, how I use this was I studied the previous year question papers so the last 20 years question papers should be on your tips for any entrance exam you're preparing be it engineering or medical or even both for that matter so have all last 10 to 20 years question papers on your tips because most of the questions are quite related and you'll come to know you know what is the pattern and what kind of topics are more common so 80 percent of the question paper the syllabus you'll be able to uh, you know to, uh, to master. Second thing is I was never the kind of a girl who would study every day. I used to also be the last moment studying kind of a person. But uh, now because I was able to do well in both as well as in my entrance examination was only because throughout my 12th grade, the whole 12th grade, I focused on preparing myself on clearing my concepts and preparing myself for entrance. For both, because I prepared myself from, for entrance, my concepts were clear and the kind of language that is required for boards and a ki kind of pattern of answers that is required I studied during the last one month. Uh, so a question uh, hey, um, 
ओके ओके मयंक तो मेरिट में आना दिक्कत होता है लाइक आई सेड इट्स नॉट रॉकेट साइंस अफकोर्स इट्स नॉट ईजी इट इज डिफिकल्ट बट इट्स नॉट इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट अ गुड स्कोर इन इन ईदर ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन थिंग इज दैट ना अनादर क्वेश्चन इज दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्क मी इज विच कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट शुड वी ज्वाइन और शुड वी डू होम स्कूलिंग यू नो इट डजेंट रियली मैटर आई बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर यूर गोइंग टू कोचिंग टू अ कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट और नॉट वेदर यू यू नो विच कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट यूर गोइंग टू इट डजेंट मैटर इट वॉट मैटर्स इज यू एंड हाउ यू आर स्टडिंग ऑल राइट मेक श्योर दैट योर कॉन्सेप्ट आर क्लियर बिकॉज इफ एनी क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम यू नो एनी क्वेश्चन इज अनएक्सपेक्टेड यू आर एटलीस्ट एबल टू अटेम्प्ट इट इन अ वे नाउ वंस यू कीप सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर्स जो पिछले जो नीट के या एम्स के या जेई के जितने भी पुराने क्वेश्चन पेपर्स हैं अगर आप उनको रिवाइज करते रहेंगे तो आपको पता चलेगा कि यू नो एक जब टाइम बहुत कम होता है एंट्रेंस एग्जाम में सो देर इज अर इज अ सर्टन सेंस ऑफ यू नो एंजाइटी इन योर हेड तो कई समटाइम्स यू मिस आउट ऑन सर्टन क्वेश्चन एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू आंसर दैम प्रॉपरली और यू नो द आंसर बट एट दैट मोमेंट इन द एग्जाम बिकॉज ऑफ यूर माइंड यू नॉट एबल टू फोकस ऑन इट सो दैट इज इट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स एंड टाइम योर सेल्फ बिकॉज आई बिलीव इट्स अ थ्री आवर एग्जामिनेशन और सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट यू हैव टू डू इट नाउ विद्या डिड माई स्लीपिंग पैटर्न इम्पैक्ट माई स्टडिंग हाउ मेनी आवर्स ऑफ स्लीप डू वी नीड Now that is also depends on individuals, but I ideally uh, slept for seven to eight hours at least every day because sleeping really, really helps your body function better, especially your brain. Your brain needs rest, and once your brain is rested, that is when you're able to study. Second thing is, I was never the late night studying person. I was more of an early morning studying person, and I feel early morning worked better for me because when your body is fresh and your body wakes up, then your body is able to take maximum load on it. your brain is fresh at that moment uh, and it's able to uh, you know grasp us waqt aapka jo dimag hai sabse zyada cheeze andar apne rakh sakta hai so it is important to have proper sleep and at proper time so i was an early to bed early to rise up uh, kind of person of course i did have my late nights as well when the when i had an examination the next day but that shouldn't be a routine uh, so at least i would say at least 11 hours of sleep is important and yes your sleeping pattern does impact your studying because studying is all about your mind and your mind requires rest how to prepare for 11th well <laughs> i didn't it's 11th is like any other year of your school because um it's just just i think for me especially like because i was preparing i knew i was going to give my medical entrance 11th was only about clearing my concepts not about like my marks or my rank how to concentrate and remember things now one more very good thing uh, good thing to practice is meditation and meditation doesn't mean that you're spending hours and hours uh, you know in in a corner of a room but meditation would be i used to wake up early in the morning especially at this time when you have holidays when you get prep leaves before your boards utilize these holidays so i used to wake up early in the morning and for 10 to 15 minutes just meditate so when you meditate your mind is able to focus on things and you know you are able to take decisions with a calm mind so it's very important to stay calm at this is is time pe aapko calm rehne ki zarurat hai aur uske baad like maybe you can go for a morning walk in the park or something so these kind of things when you are you spend some time with nature you able to concentrate better second thing is try to change your position like if i am studying in one room i used to get bored after a certain point of time and i used to not be able to concentrate so maybe you can change your room uh, you know you can change the environment uh, and stuff and of course take small breaks because after a certain period of time maybe an hour or two hours you do lose concentration when you're studying hi uh, heartless king you have your board examinations all the best really really do well my cousin also has his boards starting uh, soon so just i think for me my stress buster were my hobbies i used to either paint i used to go to the gym or um, you know i used to listen to music so just have small small practices between your studying patterns and uh, to you know have small hobbies have these certain activities which will help you reduce uh, stress all right so um as i said it is not rocket science to uh, give an examination remember 
millions of kids give this entrance give entrance examinations or um, you know are uh, giving boards so it is it is absolutely all right all the best to all of you and um well all i'd say is that it's all right even if it doesn't go according to how you planned it you know maybe there's something better in life maybe there's something better that's better task in life that's made for you waiting out there but uh what is very important is to keep a calm mind to divide your syllabus in a proper way um to do a lot of revision so even if uh, you know you're not able to properly study in the first go if you keep revising if you keep brushing on it again and again it will be very helpful like i did the past 20 years question papers at least 7 8 times so i even remember the options that were so um i'm sorry about the pause and that really helped me a lot so keep revising again and again and keep practicing as much as you can even if you feel that you've not read a topic read the question if in case a question comes from a topic which is outside your syllabus then go and read read that and clear that particular concept because right now you do not have the time to read every single thing but you can revise the important things and start solving questions and when you solve questions if a certain topic comes that you do not know about then read about it yes early morning studies are much better according to me but i mean everyone has a different way of studying so if you have if you have less time then though it is very very important to just revise questions at that point of time it is better not to pick up the book and read every single line what should you do for relax session the best way to relax is exercise you can dance you can go for a run you can go to the gym but exercising is the best way to relax during examinations because it makes you feel much better uh jab main exercise karti hu to mujhe bahut khushi hoti hai because aapki body uh, endorphins and enkephalins release karte hai jo ki happy hormones hote hain and they make you feel more happy and stress free so i think um, uh okay arisha you have boards and need to how can you manage both of them now this is how i did because i scored a 95.5% in boards and then i cracked neat in my first first entrance and i got a very good government medical college now uh for boards what i did was 11th i will be very honest 11th i was not more focused on the entrance 11th was more on like i cleared my concepts and i studied from the ncrt and then when i came to 12th 12th i took uh i finished my syllabus really fast so by the time i had my first pre boards that was uh, probably around september october my entire syllabus for 12th was over now once i was done with that i started my 11th syllabus because you do forget you do tend to forget it was one year ago i revised my 11th and for physics chemistry i strictly stuck to ncrt uh, for biology of course because it's a medical entrance you do need to read extra but after that for um, one month before my boards examination I completely forgot about the entrance I and I only studied for boards and it was easy for me because I maine pehle se concepts clear kar liye the apne and mujhe ab sirf uh, you know boards mein ek pattern hota hai there are certain things because you need to write long answers so the way of writing so all of that I studied and of course English and mathematics I had PCMB <laughs> so English and mathematics I had not prepared for the entrance so I had to study that so that one month I focused on that and then once I was done with my boards I immediately you have like at least a month to prepare for your uh, entrance examination. So in that one month, I only did question papers. I I first and along with my question papers, I used to revise. I used to divide time. So um, like I used to divide. Like I'll do three question papers today, or I'll do depends on like how many. I don't remember the exact number. It was long time ago, but I would uh, I would divide my syllabus. and i said okay in two weeks i need to complete this much of syllabus every day i would divide i'd keep a timetable a time slot with a lot of breaks in between i do that syllabus and i'd solve those particular question papers so every time you solve question papers you you become more quick and you realize that the pattern of questions is very similar every year so um i think uh, now all of you off instagram and back to your books go to study now <laughs> and i did not uh, go live earlier because i can understand it is uh, it is night time in india so you guys must be playing holi before that um but i'm really uh, happy to see that so many of you have still joined in my live video all the best um it's 
it's okay just keep revising as much as you can have a calm mind exercise in between have a good diet and just be happy you know there is no point taking stress and doing something uh and everyone has their own way of doing it but all i'd say is that just relax during this point of time do things that make you feel happy and it is not impossible to crack any entrance examination i also gave uh the j mains examination and surprisingly because i had not prepared anything and maths i had hardly done five six questions but i still i cleared uh, my j mains as well because my physics and chemistry concepts were strong so it is important to make your concepts strong and then practice as much as much as you can because the more you practice the better you'll be able to do it once you're there in the examination so um bye bye all the best everyone for your boards for your entrances and don't worry if things don't go the way you had planned them it is absolutely all right because life is full of surprises and you have nothing in this world that can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve bye bye lots of love and now go study <laughs>